Hey guys, Julian here. Um, today I just want to show you really quick how to put Gross Beat in Ableton or any other DAW because I get a lot of questions on my live stream when I use it about how I put it in Ableton and it's really not that crazy. So, as you can see right now, I'm on the ImageLine website and if you look up here, they have this tab called Plugins. If you click on that, it actually has like almost all of the plugins that come with FL Studio. You can just buy them as VSTs to use in any other DAW. You get like Edison, you can get Gross Beat, you get Harmer. I mean, all of these, Citrus, and you know, they're pretty inexpensive. But yeah, if you just go here, Gross Beat, you get it, it's a hundred bucks, and you can just download it and it'll be like a VST. So if I go into Ableton, I'll show you. I have this like melodic thing I was working on. <laughs> And I'm not gonna go to I'm not gonna play through the whole thing. But I'm gonna put gross beat on this thing and you'll see what you can do. I mean it's got all the uh it's got all the same stuff that you would have in, in FL Studio. You can get here like momentary and you can do the half speed effect. You can do like the cool pitch shifter. They got the turntable effects all those so it's really good i honestly recommend getting gross beat if you're at all interested in sound design because it's not just for making trap beats there's a lot you can do like with the pitch shifter effects and with the half speed and the double speed and the reverse and the way all that works there's really a lot you can do with this and it's a very interesting plugin with the way that it treats your sound and what it does so i definitely recommend checking out checking it out and if you didn't know how to use it in ableton there you go. So that's going to be it for today, guys. Um, let me know what you think of this video in the comments. Let me know if you want to see more, like, gear videos, like, sort of showing you about, like, different plugins and stuff. Because it's definitely something I could try if you guys like this. Um, make sure to like this video. Subscribe. Share this video if it really helped you out. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. And I will see you guys again tomorrow for another tutorial.